This is the Zero Zealot. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Grown and Healthy, the channel where we explore self-improvement through movement. The Zero Zealot is the latest release from Zero Shoes and may be a sign of things to come from this company. Now, if you're familiar with the Zero Shoes, you are aware of their signature styling. The Hirachi sandal strap that is normally incorporated into their shoe designs and their signature tread pattern. Well, with the Zelen, they have taken a different direction. Most notably, no Hirachi strap and a new outer sole tread pattern, at least to me. Amongst those changes, the Zelen features a spacious toe box design, which I love. And the overall design is one of Zero's best yet. First impressions. This shoe is roomy. The spacious feel is helped by the knit upper that is breathable and flexible, allowing for excellent ventilation during this blistering summer. The knit upper is made with recycled material and so is the outer sole. It has a five millimeter sole featuring a tire tread inspired pattern at a lightweight nine ounces per shoe in this 11 and a half men's. It features hole punched eyelets and four girded flat straps to secure the high quality slim laces. The sock liner is very thin, but responsive, giving solid rebound. But you know how I feel about sock liners. But if you need more comfort, you can keep them in. The footbed has exposed stitching, very neat and flat. So I haven't felt any discomfort without the sock liner. The collar is slim but padded, keeping the shoe feeling light and breathable. The tongue has a slim profile padding, but not bulbous. I chose the gray and red colorway in 11 and a half men's and they fit true to size. The build quality is solid. And again, for my initial testing, I wore them for seven days straight with daily three mile walks when I first got them. And it's been a month since a frequent wear and I haven't seen any breakdown. Aesthetically, these shoes are great looking shoes for the active profile. Minimal branding with a smooth finish paneling provides structure to the knit upper. The superior view of this shoe has more of a pronounced kidney bean profile, which I personally prefer. Definitely movement focused and my fellow gym rats approved of the looks of this shoe, if that means anything to you. Now, what I liked, the changes to me were great. The removal of the Hirachi strap actually helps the shoe maintain a slim profile. The tread pattern was also welcomed. The pattern was well distributed and a very low profile allowing for low road resistance when walking and running. Again, making this shoe visually more appealing. Although the footbed width appeared to be the same as my Zero Speed Force, it felt much wider in the toe box. The difference felt like night and day in comparison. Now, whether that is because of the design or the type of fabric, I still appreciated the space. Now, what I didn't like, while I prefer this tread design and the lower profile, it is stiffer at the midfoot than other Zero models. Who is this for? Well, for avid road runners and walkers, this shoe is a breeze to wear on the road. And I mean that literally, a breeze, thanks to the breathable knit upper. Even the slightest breeze on my sockless feet are felt. The Zelen is comfortable lightweight and durable. And I think it's a great looking shoe for a great price, allowing for great stability and movement, while also allowing the free feeling of breeze and air to circulate during these hot summer months. This is a definite buy for me and hopefully you'll enjoy yours as much as I have. This has been Grown and Healthy, the channel where we explore self-improvement through movement. Thanks for watching.